What's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this new Wi-Fi 7 mesh system by ASUS. This is the Zen Wi-Fi BQ16 Pro and it's supposed to be an absolute beast of a mesh system. So it's quad band, very fast speed rating of B30,000, has two 10 gig ports and I will do my full on speed test range test using my following Wi-Fi devices. Now if you have a Pixel 8 or a Pixel 9 or if you have the new iPhone 16 Pro or the Pro Max, Basically, they are Wi-Fi 7 devices, but I'm unable to get Wi-Fi 7 speeds out of them, and I've made a separate video on this, so just as a heads up, as of now, I'm getting more like Wi-Fi 6 speeds out of this rather than the Wi-Fi 7 speeds that I can get like with these two devices. So here's everything you get inside the box. The power supply is 100 to 240 volts, and the output is 60 watts, and that's what it looks like. It comes with the Cat6 Ethernet cable. Then we got the paperwork, says stop, call us if you need help, basically. We got a quick startup guide, we got one, one in a different language, we got app setup instructions, and we got a VIP member warranty notice. And here are the units, they do have a sticker on this one asking you to start with this one as it's the main unit, but technically both of these are routers. So in theory it shouldn't actually matter which one you start with, but because there's a sticker, I just start with that one. So this is what it looks like, it looks very nice, very premium, you got this little sign right here. And the coolest part is when you first look at this, you could tell that there's some differences. And then when you start tilting it, you could see that it says Wi-Fi 7, which is really, really cool because it's really hidden inside. I actually really like the design of that. We got air vents everywhere as well. I am hiding some of the info right here. We got a WPS button. We got the factory reset. Again, a whole bunch of vents. We got a little LED here. And let's talk about the ports. So we got a USB 3.0. We have two 10 gigabit ports, we got a 10 gig here and a 10 gig here, so your internet would go here and this would go out to the other guy. And then you have three other gigabit ports. And then we got the power on and off and this is where the power goes in. So I got a chance to play with this thing. I did all the speed test range tests, I have all those numbers here, we'll go over that. Very shortly, again, I tested with these following Wi-Fi devices, not with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, because this thing, as of now, has similar to Wi-Fi 6C speeds instead of like Wi-Fi 7 speeds. So, Wi-Fi 7 devices only for testing, and let's get started. So, with the internet speed test, as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be five gigabits per second upload and download, and these can support up to 10 gig speeds, so I get those full five gig speeds on ethernet. However, on Wi-Fi, that is a different story. So looking at the results here, we got pretty fast numbers overall, 3.15 down and two point, almost 2.2 up essentially. So doing very, very well for Wi-Fi 7 on a Wi-Fi device. Now to find the true performance of this mesh system, I need to do a local speed test. So what I do is I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired or wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. So looking at these numbers, we could see that the single router configuration did very, very well. So an overall improvement both in download and especially in the upload speed test. So we're getting pretty much almost symmetrical speeds, almost pretty much 3.5 down and up roughly. So very, very fast overall. Then we get to wired backhaul and because this has two 10 gig ports, we pretty much got roughly the same speeds for the wired backhaul, which is what I would expect. And for the wireless backhaul, we got slightly over two gigabits per second, which is very, very good overall. So Wi-Fi 7 devices typically get really good speeds on wireless backhaul. But the video I made, which I will link down below, in that video, if you connect a device via Ethernet to a wireless backhaul node, I actually got full 5 gig download speeds on the internet speed test. I got faster than that on the local speed test, but on internet speed test, I actually got my full 5 gig download speeds and I got roughly around 3 gig upload speeds on a wireless backhaul node. That You guys should definitely check out the vi that video if you guys haven't already. Anyways, so doing pretty well overall. Next we get to range test. Now range will vary drastically by location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. Essentially the more of an open area you're in, typically the better speeds you'll get. So I do my testing up to 100 feet. After 100 feet, I just cap my testing. In my particular case, in my uh, place essentially I can actually go further than 100 feet but again I just cap it there so at 20 feet away inside my place 
Not much of a drop for download, but a huge drop in upload, which is kind of typical for these very fast mesh systems. At 50 feet outside my place, still getting some phenomenal speeds. Definitely a drop in both sections, uh, a big drop in both sections, but definitely still very, very fast speeds. And at 100 feet across the street, still getting some very, very good, very, very well uh, usable numbers. So next we get to the ASUS router app. So this is what you use to set it up. It's available both on iOS and on Android. And this system, because it's a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, the way ASUS does it is when you create your SSID, it enables Wi-Fi 7 mode. Now, when it enables Wi-Fi 7 mode, some of the devices can't connect to it. Some of the IoT devices have trouble connecting to that. So it actually automatically makes the same SSID underscore IoT as an Internet of Things SSID. Now, in my case, what I did was I actually just deleted that Internet of Things Wi-Fi for the second one, and I actually just made a normal SSID that wasn't an IoT one, just basically a normal one, and then I made another guest one. And so most of my devices connected to the normal one. My fast device is connected to the Wi-Fi 7 one. And you can also make an MLO, multi-link operation, but the main one that's Wi-Fi 7 is essentially MLO. When I was doing the speed test, it was pretty much the same speeds. And again, it, it acts just like an MLO network. So, so yeah, so, but you do get a lot of options there. You could make, you can even make a kid's Wi-Fi network, which is great. You get parental controls included in the price. All That's the one really, really, really good thing that stands out with ASUS is they give you a lot of options and they're all included in the price. You don't need to pay an extra subscription, which is really, really nice. But yeah, you get parental controls. You could block out some filters. You could set some times and stuff like that as well. And then you could separate out the SSIDs. You, again, you can make different networks. You can do, again, VPN options. There's so much you can customize. You could change the power level of each band if you want to do that. There's really a lot of customization, especially if you go to the browser, if you type in the default gateway on this thing, uh, the IP address of the default gateway on your browser that's hooked up to this, you get way more options. So now to summarize, is it worth getting this thing? Why or why not? Well, as always, it depends on your specific situation. So this thing from a performance aspect, it is beasty. It's very fast, very good range, can handle internet speeds of up to 10 gigs, has two 10 gig ports, you're not losing that speed, very good wireless backhaul speeds, and a ton of options. So from a performance oriented way, I can recommend this for many, many setups. And in fact, I do recommend this for many, many setups, but it really just depends if you need something this powerful, because if you, let's say if you have internet speeds of up to 500 megabits per second, upload and download, the ASUS GT6 is a fantastic mesh system. Now, if you have internet speeds faster, or if you're planning on upgrading, like in my case, I have five gigabit speeds, this is a fantastic mesh system for me. So with that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I have way more Mesh Wi-Fi videos coming up, comparisons, routers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.